Okay, hi second graders. It is time to do Parker's Star of the Week letter. So every week we have a Star of the Week. When we have a Star of the Week, uh, we write them a letter. And you remember last week you wrote to me, I shared my poster and I showed you how to write a Star of the Week letter. I'm gonna share my screen so you see that, so you remember. Okay, so do you remember that, dear Mrs. Wilson? All right, that's what we're doing again, except in on your next page in here, except now you are going to write to Parker. Okay, so I'm gonna help you get started. All right, so turn to the very next page. Later, we'll take these apart, okay, and then pass them out. We'll take them apart and then we'll all make them into books for each kid. Okay, so all the letters to Parker will be in a book and it will go to Parker. All right, so um, today we need to write the date and we don't write the short date because it's a, it's kind of a formal letter. Okay, so we are going to write December. You are writing with a pencil because um, you want it to be your best. And so then if you make a mistake, if you are writing with pencil, you can erase. I'm showing you with a marker so that you can see it clearly on the video, okay? So let's see, 12, 13, 14, it's the 14th, okay? December 14th, comma, 2020, okay? This is the month, and then the day is the 14th day of the, of the month of December, and then 2020 is... The year for a little bit longer it's almost 2021 um, and the comma separates the day from the year right okay and then you're gonna do capital D dear Parker you can copy this everybody's is gonna look the same on this part dear Parker comma that's our opening for our letter right Dear Parker, comma. And then our letter, the body of the letter is your writing, what you tell Parker, okay? And the body of the letter can be whatever you want it to be, but you also for sure have to include two compliments, two nice things about Parker, and you have to include two connections. And now I have not seen Parker's poster yet when I'm filming this, but I can think of lots of compliments for Parker. So for example, one compliment I would start with, I would say, Parker, you are such a hard worker. And then I would even say, you always, do your best. And I might even put an exclamation point right there because he really, he's a hard worker. He always does his best. Now your compliments will probably be different from mine. You might think he's a hard worker, but you might say it in a different way, right? And then you're gonna have two connections from paying attention to what Parker shared on his poster. You're gonna have two things that you have in common with Parker, okay? Um, you can use what you know about him from class. You can use what you know about him maybe from playing with him last year, or you can use what you know about him from small groups if you're in a small group with him. And then you're really gonna be paying attention, I know, for the poster so that you can make two connections. And down here on your star, in your star, you're gonna draw a picture with crayons. And your picture will have something to do with your writing. So if you say, oh my gosh, Parker, I love, let's say Parker loves stuffed animals. I know he has some really cool stuffed animals. I don't know if this is true because I haven't heard his poster yet, but let's say he loved stuffed animals and you, you wrote, I love stuffed animals too, Parker. Maybe a good thing to draw in this uh, star would be a, several stuffed animals. I don't know. Or maybe he says he really, uh, oh, I know. We know he loves his tree house. He's building a tree house, right? So we could draw a picture of a cool tree house in the, in the star. I don't know. You think of something that you think uh, Parker would like or that you think really relates to what you have a connection with him about. Lots of times kids draw pictures of um, favorite foods or favorite books. Okay, and on the back, 
So on the back, I'm going to show you the back of this one. Because the back is, you're going to write, 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 do your connections, do your compliments. You have another picture space here. I, I would like for you to do one picture on the front. But if you want to make this the best letter ever, please feel free to do two pictures. I would love it if you did two, and I bet you Parker would too, okay? Um, your closing is like how you end your letter, right? And you can put from, comma, and then on the next line down, you put your name. I put my name because I was writing, but you're gonna put your name, right? And in, if you prefer to write your friend, comma, and then your name, for your closing, you could do that. If you prefer to write sincerely, you could do that. There are lots of different ways you can close a letter. This is kind of a very simple way, right? But you could write your friend, comma, and then your name. You could write your classmate, comma, or sincerely, comma. You have choices on that, okay? Okay, do your very best. Make it nice printing. Remember to have capitals and periods. It's like a gift that you're making for Parker. So you want it to be your very, very best, okay? Your picture should have how many colors at least? Five, right? Yep, okay. I know you're gonna do a great job. Okay, I will see you soon. Have fun.